Digital communication involves binary notations. Due to rapid development of integrated circuit technology, digital communication came into a picture. Digital communication has been given priority than analog because of its flexibility and noise immunity. Digital communication is the transfer of data over a point-to-point -point or even point-to-multipoint communication channel, examples of which are copper wires, optical fibers, and wireless communication media. The data is represented as an electromagnetic signal, such as an electrical voltage, radio waves, or microwaves. PCM is one form of digital communication. PCM is a method used to digitally represent sampled analog signals. In PCM, a signal is represented by a sequence of coded pulses. PCM process is divided into three steps, transmitter, regenerative repeater, and receiver. Initially, the input analog signal is given to an anti-aliasing filter, that is, low-pass filter, in order to satisfy the Nyquist criteria. The Nyquist criteria states that the sampling frequency must be greater than or equal to twice the maximum frequency of the input signal. The filtered signal is sampled in a sampler in order to get discrete time continuous amplitude signal. The next stage is quantizer. Quantization is in which the discrete values are approximated and changed into levels. This would be a new representation of the signal which is discrete in time and amplitude. Encoder is the last stage of PCM transmitter. Encoding is in which the obtained levels are changed into bits. As for the PCM receiver, it consists of the regenerative repeater for timing, equalization and decision making. It is a decoder that changes the obtained bits to levels again and the reconstruction filter that reconstructs the original signal. PCM has been used in digital telephone system and is also the standard form for digital audio in computers and compact disc. However, PCM is not typically used for video in consumer applications such as DVD and DVR because it requires too high bit rates. The quantization noise which is introduced in the transmitter and is carried all the way to the receiver output. This noise is signal dependent in the sense that it disappears when the message signal is switched off. In PCM, the resulting sampling signal have high correlation between adjacent samples. The result of the above is that difference between adjacent samples have a variance that is smaller than the variance of the signal itself. When these lightly correlated samples are encoded, the resulting encoded signal contains redundant information. Sometimes the symbols that are not absolutely essential to the transmission are generated as a result of encoding process. By removing this redundancy before encoding, an efficient coded signal is obtained. This more efficient coded signal is produced by sending only the digital encoder difference between successive samples. This reduces the transmission bandwidth and these PCM system using differential quantizing schemes are known as differential pulse code modulation that is DPCM process. The DPCM transmitter is similar to the PCM transmitter but it has a prediction filter for prediction of the future values of the signal. Differential pulse code modulation DPCM is a signal encoder that uses the baseline of pulse code modulation PCM discussed previously but adds some functionality based on the prediction of the future values of the signal. Instead of taking a difference relative to the previous input sample, a difference relative to the output of a local model of the decoder process is taken. In this later option, the difference can be quantized securing a good way to incorporate a controlled loss in the encoding. Thus the DPCM system reduces the error generated by the 
quantization process known as the quantization error at the transmitter of the PCM system.